Hey what's up guys, it's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 4 of my Road to Glory series on the World Cup game and uh, we're gonna start off by going into the online tournament once again because in the previous video in episode 3 we lost in the finals which was a shame but um, yeah we're gonna we're gonna start off uh, once again in the tournament and also before uh, before we go into the first game I just want to mention that I'm gonna gonna try to upload these more frequently I think uh, the last upload was I think more than a week ago so I definitely have to change that in order to uh, in order to complete this series because uh, we've only done uh, three episodes so far but uh, anyway we're gonna start off once again um, I'm not really too sure if I have to change anything in the squad because um, I think we did that in the last episode but I see that we have to apply a few contracts we have to do that to Varane and also to our, our right back um, we're gonna do that first um, right so um, I think it looks alright to be honest um, but I made some changes in the previous episode because we got Mario Götze and I'm not really too sure if I should if I should change it back to the 4-1-2-1-2 uh, one, two, one, two formation um, or just keep it like this. Um, I think I'm just gonna play one game with um, with this formation, and uh, if it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna change to the to the other formation back again. But anyway, we're gonna go into the first game and uh, and see how it goes. All right, here we go. The first opponent of the uh, of the episode, and uh, we come against a team with a Italian Italian badge and also an Italian kit. And now let's see what kind of team he has. Uh, 53 chemistry. All right, that's not too bad actually to to start this episode off with. Um, he has Andrea Pilo, uh, Mascherano, uh, Dutch player as well, uh, Maicon. Um, he has some few, uh, is a few decent players in his squad, but not really the greatest chemistry as you can see from uh, from his team. But um, yeah, let's see how this uh, how this goes, and uh, hopefully we can uh, we can win this game because then uh, we can uh, we can open uh, a few more packs. It's been loading since I think two minutes right now, and just keeps loading. I think we have to dashboard. And um, we're probably gonna get a loss for it, even though the game hasn't even started yet. But you can see it, it just just keeps loading. I've had these problems like a few times on the regular Ultimate Team as well, but it's just really really annoying. Um, let's just, uh, let's just back out and uh, go back in Ultimate Team. Of course, it seems that you disconnected from your last online match. Oh my God! Wow, we actually got a loss for it. I can't believe it. It says that we lost with 3 0. Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh well. That's a terrible start to this tournament. That's a terrible start. Let's see if we can actually maybe reset it or something. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that because it just sucks to uh, to start off with uh with a loss. So um yeah. We're gonna try it again. We go into the first game and uh hopefully we can uh, we can come up against an opponent. All right, here we go. We come up against this uh, this German guy at least um, with a German badge, and he has a team with 100 chemistry and a full European side with Eden Hazard, which uh, I think actually got an upgrade. I think a few days ago, not really too sure. He's 92 rated. Um, Diego Costa, also Mario Götze, Gundogan, also Nigel De Jong. Um, he has a really good team. Hopefully, we can we can win this game because I really really would like to uh, to win my first game in the, in the group just to get the to get the three points. And I start off well, basically. Go on. Yes. Oh, no. What a save. Oh. Should have been a 1-0. Go on, the foe. Oh, once again, his goalkeeper saved it. All right, that's half time, man. It was pretty boring, to be honest. I think we had two uh, decent chances with the foe. Um, that we maybe could have scored from. I think my opponent also had one or two opportunities. It says two shots on target, but um, yeah, I think the game uh, the game is pretty even so far. Even though uh, he had a, he has a way better team than us, but um, hopefully we can carry on. Maybe get a goal or something because I definitely uh, definitely want to win this game, especially uh, the first game uh, in the group stages. So um, yeah, let's start off straight from kickoff with that uh, with Goetze. I think he's not playing, or is he? Oh, he is. Okay, Goetze, come on, shoot. Oh, what a save once again from his goalkeeper. And uh, I forgot to tell you, but um, the game is a little bit laggy, but... There we go, good, sir. Ah, the lag is annoying in this game. The lag is really annoying, although we have the ball still. Look, the game is just laggy. It's just annoying to, to pull off skills. 
Nice. Right, I think I'm gonna make a few changes in the team. Um, I think I'm gonna change the formation simply because I, I'm not really a big fan of playing just with a lone striker, especially in this formation. Um, I'm gonna change to, I'm gonna change to the uh, four three two one, and the, I think this is fine. And then maybe Eto for the foe. I think that's all right. No. Oh, great save, great save. Oh, the lag. Go to. Ah, oh, once again, this goalkeeper saves it. Jesus Christ. Oh, what a strike. Was that Eto? Yes, golden substitute. Yes, get in. 1-0. That was a pretty decent goal, I would say. Um, I'm not really too sure if it, was a, if it was a skill goal. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to count it as a skill goal. We lost the ball though with Sam, but then we got it back straight away with uh, with Fukoyevich, I think. Pass it off to Eto. Go, uh, goes with a nice little fake shot, and we make it 1-0. Is he going to Is he gonna rage quit? Yeah, he is, he is going to rage quit. Oh, my God. Um, I think... We should maybe add a new rule. Um, when my opponent rage quits, we uh, we maybe get a, a new pack as well. So that means that um, we won the game. We get one pack. We get a skill goal. We get one pack. And we got a rage quit. So we get another pack. So that means that we're going to open three packs right now. Um, we're also going to open, I think, uh, two packs with one player in it. Because uh, from the previous game... Although I'm not really too sure if we if we get one, even though um, even though we didn't really play it, but we got a loss for it, so I guess I assume uh, we get a pack. But um, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let me know in the comments down below, by the way, if it's a, if it's a nice rule or a good rule that I should add in this series. Um, if my opponent rage quits, uh, we also get a uh, get a pack. So um, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. All right, so we only get one uh, one pack with only one player in it. Not really, uh, not really too bad, I guess. Um, let's see which player we do get this time. I'm gonna skip it. And we get Kalu, Salomon Kalu, ex player from Feyenoord. Alright. We're gonna open these packs. We're gonna open three of these. Hopefully, we can get some decent players in it because I really would like to improve our European side and get some of the, uh, the higher rated players in our team, of course. Alright, we do get um, De Yaha there from Iran, Sissoko. Gonna use him, I think, and we got a finally, finally a decent European goalkeeper from uh, from Portugal. Right, second pack. We do get Victor Valdez, another goalkeeper. Oh yes, can use him. And <laughs> Ron Vlaar, Ron Beton, of course. Um, Socrates from Greece, getting some decent players. Moses, another player from Africa. Mertens, definitely gonna use him. Uh, we got Johansson, another player who uh, who plays or another player. Um, he plays in the Eredivisie. I was going to say another player from the Eredivisie, but Mertens and Vlaar used to play in the uh, in the Dutch league. But um, yeah, the packs are getting uh, very, very good for us right now. All right, here we go. The third and final pack. And we do get Perisic. He got an upgrade, I think, a few days ago. Or a few days ago. I think last week or something. That's nice. I think, I'm sure of it. He got an international man of the match. So um, we can maybe use him. Although he's also a left mid. Uh, we got another uh, player from Ivory Coast, Yakonan, um, who links up with uh, with Kalu. And yeah, apart from that, we don't really get any any special players, I guess. So we get this guy though with 91 pace, but it doesn't really stand out that much. All right, so I'm gonna change the team up quickly uh, for the second game, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So this is the team I've managed to uh, managed to come up with. Um, as you can see, the only weak link in this team is still the left back. We still need a proper left back. Although I changed uh, Stocker, who was on the bench for Ziegler, because he has, uh, as you can see, 70 defending, 
which is pretty all right. Um, also changed the, the, the center back. We have uh, now Socrates. We also got Sissoko in our squad. Um, I put um, Helder Postiga back uh, at the striker spot. We got Mertens as our left mid and uh, Victor Valdez as our goalkeeper. Now look on the bench how many players we got from Croatia. It's uh, pretty crazy. I think uh, they're taking the lead right now when it comes to the collection book. But um, yeah, that's something that we will see at the, at the end of the episode. But uh, anyway, we go into the, into the second game now. Hopefully we can, we can, uh, we can win another game. Alright, here we go, the second game of this episode, and uh, we come against a team with 84 chemistry, uh, I assume he's from France, or at least he supports France. We also got a few French players, also got Daily Blend as left back, the uh, Dutch player of course. Um, his goalkeeper is the weak link, I think, because um, he doesn't really have the, 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 the greatest chemistry, I think, only... Only three or two? Not really too sure. But anyway, um, let's see how this game goes. Hopefully, we can get three points, so uh, we can uh, we can make sure that we are through to the uh, to the round of 16. Oh, there we go, Mario Goetze. Ah, we lost the ball. That was a shame. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did he go for a bicycle kick? I think he could have he could have easily had it away, but he went for a bicycle kick. Shit. It was his first chance as well. Oh, no. Not another header. Are you serious? Oh, we hit this defender. <laughs> Three nil. Wow. Oh, he's making me mad. Go on, Mertens. Again, it got blocked off. Are you serious, man? I just can't seem to score in this game. Go on, Postiga. Chip him. That's a good goal. That's a good goal. I think we can open it back. I think. I think we can. It was a was a semi skill goal as you can see. We got a little bit lucky there. The finish was nice as well. Cheeky, cheeky chip shot over his goalkeeper and uh, three one it is. All right, guys, that's game and uh, yeah, we lost with three one. I think we had most of the chances during this game because my opponent he crossed it two times in and he got two headers from it and he also got that goal uh, where he uh, shot it across goal, uh, which was a free nil, I guess it was, but. Let's just let's just check the stats. He actually had way more shots. We only had two shots on target. What? I didn't expect that at all. Oh well, apparently it's uh it's how it went, so yeah. We lost the game with 3 1, but we're gonna open it back nonetheless though because um we scored a uh we scored a a semi skill goal, I guess, with uh, with Helder Prostiga. So we're gonna open that pack right now. But first we are um gonna open the pack with only one player in it, of course. We got Zuber, another left midfielder from Switzerland. I need a left back. I need a left back from Switzerland. That Rodriguez guy, he was uh, he was playing pretty well against uh, Argentina yesterday. All right, we're going to open this one, the 5k pack. Can we get a left back in this pack? Nope, we can't. We get a right back though. Van Rijn from the Netherlands. Uh, Di Santo, Faisulin. Uh Alright, here we go, the final game of this episode, and uh, we're going to play someone from Spain, I guess, or at least someone who supports Spain. He has four points, so um, we have to win this game, and he has a strong team, <laughs> with Lukaku up front, uh, also the Bruyne, who actually got a upgrade, I think, yesterday. Uh, Casillas in goal, although he's not the best goalkeeper. <laughs> um, Centre-backs, Hummels, Chiellini, he has a very solid, uh, very solid European team. Hopefully we can win this game. We have to win this game in order to advance. Go on, Sam. Oh, the post! No! That should have been a 1 0. Once again, we just can't seem to score. Alright. Penalty! Yes! Penalty. We have to score this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna step up for it with Mertens, the ex PSV player. 
Yes, 1-0. Phew. We got that early goal. Way too ambitious. Oh, okay. Lovely, fully. Ah, please make another mistake. Do it again. Come on, do it again. He pressed start. What is he going to do? Is he going to quit? Yes, he is going to quit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. He actually left. With four shots already in the first uh, 16 minutes of this game. Oh well, I'll take it. Um, yeah, we're going to move on to the store, I guess. And um, and open that pack. I think we are also through to the round of 16. I'm, I'm just going to... Just gonna check that quickly. Yes, we are. We end up uh, second in our group. Nice. All right, first pack, and we do get another player from Croatia, and to duplicate a goalkeeper. Oh well. All right, we're gonna open the uh, the five K pack. Let's see. Uh, let's see which players we do get this time. All right, and we're gonna skip it. <clears throat> and we do get Mesut Ozil. Oh, nice, and also Pogba. Damn. That's really, really good. That's a really, really nice, really nice pack in my opinion. We got Mesut Ozil. We can maybe link him up with uh, with Goethe because they're both uh, from Germany and both center attacking mids, of course. And we got Pogba. Um, anyway, guys, that is um, that's going to be the end, at least for for part one of this series. Of course, we're going to move on to the collection book right now, and uh, we're going to check how many players we actually pulled that are uh, or that are going or that are, are in the uh, in the collection book, of course, because I'm sure that. Uh, Messed Ozil and uh, Pogba are in it, and maybe a few other players uh, that we got in this pack as well. But um, anyway, we're going to move on to the collection book right now, and I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, welcome back to the second part of this series, which is, of course, the collection book. And uh, we finally managed to get ourselves the first player of the Netherlands, and that is Ron Vlaarder, as you can see, the centre-back. Hopefully, we can get a few more players from the Netherlands in the in the next episode, since I'm Dutch myself. Um, now, we're going to move on to Australia, and they are once again taking the lead with seven players. Uh, this time, we also got two more players. Then uh, we move on to France, and uh, we do have uh, two centre mids there, as you can see, Sissoko and also Paul Pogba. Definitely going to use uh, Pogba in the next episode as well then uh, we move to the final one in this iran of course also two new players for them and um, this is how it looks currently once again it is australia taking the lead with uh, with seven uh, seven players so far um then the runners up are nigeria and also iran surprisingly and uh, then we also have croatia i do believe croatia also uh, we have a lot of players from them but uh, anyway guys that is pretty much the end of this video hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and if you can hit a thousand likes that would be absolutely awesome so I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Yeah.